Well, hey y'all, this is Silky Nutmeg Ganache, and since you got me here, that means that you know that those bitches done voted me off. But it's okay, cause I'm still here, I'm still an all-star, and I'm still what? Beautiful. Today, I'm gonna show you my neon peacock look. It's a fun, flirty look that I enjoy. So I'm gonna take you from this to this. One of the very first things that I do is very, 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 very important, especially if you become a full-time entertainer, and that is to prep your skin, bitch. Prep it. So I'm gonna take off my glasses. I put on me a little moisturizers. I got one with a gold tint, because when I'm in drag, I like to look golden. I like to put it on the titty area, because you know I want my titties to glow too. I just washed my hands before I did this, you guys, so make sure that you're washing your hands, especially before you touch your face. Coronavirus is out there, bitch. This is like a prep and prime. It's my favorite. It got like gold flake in it. But you see how I already look golden? I already look golden. I got some illuminator for my cheeks. I'm gonna put that on there, just like that. You go wham, bam, and you do the other side. Bam. Ooh, I got it in my wig up. Put a little bit there. And I like to put a tip on my nose and a tip on my forehead. And then I go in, get that off your weave, honey, and just rub it in on the cheeks. I know this look crazy, but it's gonna help you glow. And why I do that, I go ahead and put on my color corrector for that can sit in too, okay? Girls, let me tell you something. Color corrector is your best friend. I learned that after Drag Race. Once I started doing color corrector, no more of that heavy makeup that I used to do. Mm, 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 mm. And y'all know I use my same pads. I wash them by hand, but I got my little area for my color corrector. That's my color corrector side. Okay, because today is a very special day, y'all know I have not had eyebrows in five years, but because of coronavirus, I have eyebrows now. And I usually would use my natural brow, but I want to drag it up today. So Akira taught me how to use like glue. If you're going to be a drag queen, you got to use some unconventional things, baby. And if you don't want to use those unconventional things, good for you if you got it like that. But this is what I do for my makeup. And you came to my tutorial. I'm going to just put it on my brow. I'm going to go down over like that. I should have did this first. I be forgetting. I forget. Put it on, wipe it on the side. Shout out to Kiria Chanel Davenport. I honestly don't spend a lot of time on my makeup. Let me tell you why. I have spent three hours on makeup, two hours on makeup, but let me tell you one thing that has never changed, and that's the check. That's one thing I can say while on RuPaul's Drag Race. I've never gotten a, a makeup critique. I've only been praised for my makeup. That season 11 in All Stars, I've only been praised for my makeup. Except that one time that I was to fly, you know, but I was going through something that day. Wipe your hands off. Make sure my nails are clean, honey. I got these white French tips on. <laughs> and just because I've seen Vanjie do it, I'm gonna take my color corrector and put over my brow. I'm only gonna put on the end because I want the beginning of my, my brows. Just gonna dab it in. And this time, get a little powder and help set it. And let me tell you the greatest thing that I could have ever learned in makeup. Akiri and Roger was just like, your face is so feminine already. And I was like, yes, go on, go on, tell me more. And it was like, girl, you know, embrace that you have a feminine face. Baby, the best thing they could have ever told me because I would hardly wear a lot of makeup anymore and I go on by my life. And with that being said, why in the hell did I just glue down my brows? I should just use my natural. I would have been done with my makeup by now. But I'm trying to do something nice for you guys. Trying to do something nice. Now I'm gonna draw my thing. Y'all know I'm blind. Ain't no way getting, getting around this process. I, I got to look like this in my face to make sure my eyebrows look right. So just give me a moment.
Now, I'm really gonna be in a mirror now because my eyebrows are usually like distant cousins. And if this go wrong, I'm taking off my brows and starting over. Okay, y'all ain't gonna talk about me today, honey. It's getting close, a little bit of work, but it's getting close. That's like, a, you know, cousin twice removed. Let's get it to cousin status. Okay, that's the best I can do. They cousins, and when I clean them up here in just a second, they'll be, they'll be sisters. Simple, I just went on the top of the brow, outlined it, shaped it up. Now we go under the brow. I'm gonna take this and go like this, and go like this. So I can already have some product up there. Now that I got some makeup under there, help me out. I'm gonna go ahead and shape the brow. Bitch, that actually look really good. And now I just take the brush, take all that extra makeup I have right there and just do it like this. Brow's done. Look at that. Done. I got like sep sisters and I'm okay with it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing my eyes. Since I'm doing Peacock Neon Fantasy, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, my brush. Now you always use a fluffy brush. I'm gonna get my, my new powder. Go under my eyebrow bone. Set it a little bit. Set it and forget it. Y'all remember that I'm not that old. Set the brow bone. All right, now that I've set that, I got like a new highlighter, loose powder, it's on my brush. I'm just gonna right under the eye. Some nice little light gold, you see it? Mm-hmm. I can go out right now, honey. This is how the real girls be going out. Now I gotta put me a big lash on, cause they be wearing lashes bigger than the drag queens nowadays. Girl, what did that trend start? Well, you know, the real girls go out looking like drag queens nowadays. They be looking at too many makeup tutorials, honey. Okay, now that that's done. Katie. Katie. My puppy Katie done ran in and she done rolled in front of me cause she be want me to use my feet to rub her belly. Okay, Katie, let me go. Big mama got to finish her job, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease. I'm gonna do it with purple. I just go in like this. Well, I don't even use a lot. Ooh, this is really pretty purple. There ain't really no crease. Katie, honey, let me tell you something. I done moved back home with my mama. Doing drag at the house is a choice. It's a blessing and a curse. Let me tell you the blessing. I wasn't out when I was in high school. I didn't feel comfortable enough to come out. But now I get to relive those days. And let me tell you something. Now I realize I didn't come out because they would get on your nerves. I'm complaining about my family, but I'm gonna let you know something. It does get better if you're watching this. Honey, everybody don't have the, the luxury of going home to their biological family. I have that luxury and I don't take that for granted. Got me a little blending brush, a little fluffy, thin. Now I'm just gonna go in and blend it in. Yes, honey, yes. The girls be doing that on their uh, makeup tutorials. I don't know if they boosting their head up or they think they really doing something. I don't know, but I'm gonna see if, what it works for me. Yes, Miss Thing. You better blend. Yes, blend, Gaga. Okay, now we go on this side. Yes, blend, honey. Work. Yes, God. Now I take this brush. It's my favorite brush. Just take the dark purple. Make that crease really decrease because you can't really see it now. But wait till I get done with it. I take the dark one first and I go in like this. Real hard at the crack of my eye. Now I take the other side and blend it out. Now I go at the end. Use whatever dark color you want to use. And my dark co color of choice is purple today. See how I blended that is nicely? Then I'm just going to add some purple on, on the fluffy side. I'm just going to put it at the corner, the cracks right there. Then I'm going to bring it up just so slightly. Perfect. Let me hurry up for Katie come back in. Let me tell y'all something about animals, y'all. 
she don't know boundaries. Like, she don't know boundaries at all. Good enough for me. Y'all, why am I trying to be extra today? I could have been done with my makeup by now. Just being extra for no reason. Okay, get a little foundation, put it on the crease. And boom, just like that. Now let me get my, my brush and finish the work. Get the brush. Done. Okay, I got some green. Put a little green on there. I ain't putting a lot, just a little. Put that green. Now I'm gonna take my spray on that same brush. Spray that brush. Now I'm gonna go on the yellow. It's like a little neon. I'm gonna go right on top of it. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take an iridescent glitter. What I do, I spray my eye again like this. Sickening. So the glitter is popping, but it ain't popping enough for me, for my liking after I done put my, my lid in. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more purple. And then instead of using the dark purple, I'm gonna use like a, a raisin to make it pop on the crease. So let me show you. We are gonna go back in with that brush like we did originally. I'm gonna use this cause you know, I can't see that well. See, got that purple pop. But now, I'm gonna go back in with the crease just a little bit more. And I'm gonna use this razor. I'm just going around my lid with the, with the razor. And then I'm gonna take the, the razor on this. And just blot it on the end. Now that's popping. I'm gonna spray my eyelids. Spray my brush. I'm just gonna go back in with a little more glitter just to make sure that it's extra popping. Boom, popping. While I'm here, let me go ahead and put on my black liner on the top of my eye. So you take the, the black liner. I gave myself a little caddy, and I'm gonna do the same for this side. That's the eyes. Simple, sophisticated, elegant. One more, honey. So now I'm just gonna take my brush, my big fluffy brush. Go ahead and put on my foundations. Up the nose, the forehead, the cheek, top lip, bottom lip. And notice I don't have on a lot, because again, remember I told you I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore. You know, I use my same sponges and I wash them. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I gotta get some more of this, honey. I'm almost out. You wanna sponsor me? Send me some. And when you go under your eye, make sure you look up because you don't wanna you wanna stop the creases. That's where the term beat your face came in. Beat your face, honey, with them pads. I'm gonna go back in, just a little more foundation on my nose. And under my eye. Now we put on the base foundation. And why I do this, just cause I wanna avoid getting so much makeup in my hair. Sit my wig back a little bit. And don't talk about me. Talk about your mamas, cause your mamas do it too, honey. It's makeup. Do it your way. No matter what anybody got to say, you do makeup your way. Cause your way is gonna get you paid. Everybody always talk about these fabulous makeup artists, but the reality of it is, it's good on them. Everything ain't good for everybody. And that's no shade. I ain't trying to cut, cut nobody in, in their checks or they hustle. But for me, child is just makeup. 
Some days you look pretty, some days you don't. Another drop for my neck and this fat part, my uh, turkey gobble. I use a really bright highlight powder to start off with because I want to look like I'm glowing all night. I know that, you know, some people said that I look like a white woman with my highlight powder, but let me tell you something. With, with black girls and makeup, we have to use like all shades. But I want to make sure I, I highlight under my eyes very heavily. Why? Because my drag mama told me to. I don't want her to kick my ass. She'll still do it even though I've been on Drag Race. <laughs> and she get that cheek. Because we're going to look plump. And I got the forehead, but I want to make sure right in the center of the forehead that I highlight extra hard. Like that. Perfect. Chicken wings, collard greens. Now before I put my wig back down, let's go ahead and set the, the foundation to uh, the regular colors. I just use a little compact, little pressed powder, honey. And you're done. Now we're gonna start with the contouring. I'm gonna put my wig back down now, honey. Whoop, whoop. I start off my contouring by putting on a very, very, very dark bronzer just to carve the cheeks. Y'all know I like to look very beautifully bronzed, like I'm Cleopatra, just getting out the desert. So I take me my gold bronzer, highlighter, whatever you wanna call it. I use like a really cheap one. I don't use an expensive one for this, this process. And I just go on my cheek like that. And I go a little bit under the eye. But all on that cheek. Ooh, that's a lot. You see the dust coming up? You see how that look gold like that? That's what you want. Slap it on, honey. Put it under the eye like that. I'll take it up like that. Helps out with the blending on the forehead. Look at that. It looks crazy. But y'all know wearing my makeup, I may do it a little crazy but it always turns out wonderful. Clean as you go. Let me tell you why. Cause sometimes you may want to have that extra cocktail at the gig and you ain't gonna want to clean your hotel room up before you catch your flight. So clean as you go and pack your bags before you go out to your gig. Cause sometimes you always get a little tipsy and you ain't gonna want to do it. And you got a flight the next morning. I'll contour again. Them cheeks. Well, just when you thought I was done, I'm gonna card that cheek a little more. Get that right here, that dark, dark, dark. Get a little small brush, you don't need a lot. This substitute, when I used to put black in my face, I don't put black no more. But I go in with this and just do that. We still ain't done. You're gonna take your topaz. You know the things be having the holes in it. I still use those. Get your puff, get your topaz side. That's my topaz side. You gonna let that bake right under the cheek. I, black girls, some of y'all use y'all highlight powder under y'all cheek. Honey, you gonna look white all night. Get you a topaz or something, you know, a little orangey, you know, something you can put down, you know. It'll help you out, I promise you. Now let me give you a trick my drag mama taught me. Smile. And define the cheek. I'm gonna re-highlight. <laughs> but this time I use a little different highlighter powder. Got a little orange in it, you know. Help everything mellow in together. Help soften everything up, you know. Do the forehead good. But you go back in with your, your gold brush. You got a lot of it in there. Dust it off your gold, honey. We ain't trying to dull it up like that. And let that sit. Oh, here go my favorite part. Contour the nose. Oh, there's something about a good nose contour. I already have a tiny nose. 
I have a button nose. It's not really tiny, but it's, I have like a nice little cute button nose. Start it there on that side and start it there on that side. And then we bring it down. Now I'm gonna take a, a thing and clean. Cause what I'm gonna do next is unsanitary. But we drag queens. But that's what we do. Highlight my nose with the bridge. And then with that same powder, I'm gonna just take a little bit. I'm gonna put it right there under my eye. Like that. On the forehead. Then I get my little powder. And do it like that. Dust it all that out. Dust out. Dust on them cheeks, baby. Dust on them cheeks. Then I'm gonna hit them with that one, two with the blush. Black girls and white girls, whoever wanna do it. I'm going specifically to my black girls. Put you some of this orange and that pink together and it's gonna bless your soul. It's gonna give you everything you need. Go heavy with that orange. And add your blush. Bring that face to life, honey. Come on up on that forehead. Let that forehead be blessed too. Ooh, that's real pink. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I hate this makeup. I feel like I look like a clown. So what we gonna do, guys, we just gonna keep adding makeup to it look right to your satisfaction. This is horrible. Come on in. Come on down a little more. Come get closer. Okay, get him encouraged word. This is my granny. I'm his granny. We can't see your face, though. What's your encouraging word? My, my encouraging word, keep doing what you're doing. Put your best in what you were doing. Help the others to progress with you and you will come out victorious. But I lost. You lost? Yes. I ain't win the $100,000 $100, again. So what do I do? Have faith and believe and don't stop working. All right. You heard it from her. Are you gonna uh, win anything from this? <laughs> uh, let me tell you, when your makeup don't turn out the way you want, just keep adding more. And today it ain't it ain't coming out the way I want it. I'm going to add it just a little bit more. Get a little more blush. I'm just using straight up orange this time. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit more bronzer because maybe that'll help it out. Okay, it's going to come together now. Okay. What are you doing? Katie, grandma wants you. Go find granny. There she go. Okay, it's gonna look good now. Now I just gonna put on my lashes. Where are my lashes? I swear I'm missing some things. Okay, I may have to go to my bedroom. Let me straighten up a little bit though, before I go. So my grandma come over here talking about me. Y'all, my grandma do not play. That's the joy of living at home. Y'all think that I roast and toast the girls? My family roast and toast for no reason. Like they just let have. And if you don't like it, that's just your fault. That's one of the reasons I've never brought a boy home to my family yet. I've dated some guys and it's because my family roast and toast too hard. And I got to make sure that they are prepared for the roasting. Okay, give me one second. Let me go get the stuff off my bed. I don't get to, I need a little snack. What's if my mama done cooked a piece of, she know she was frying some chicken in there. I might have to make me a little plate and bring it in. Let me go find my lashes. Give me one moment. While I was going to look for my lashes, my mama was, she said she was making fried chicken, biscuits, and gravy. I said, let me call her now. Let me, let me get me a little taste. She ain't even started. Cause she was just like, you said you'd be done at this time. I was going to wait closer to that time if it could be fresh and hot. Child, I only thing I wanted was, I just wanted me a little snack or something. Oh, mm. Whew. that was something serious. Yeah, I feel like I need a highlight one more time. What y'all think? Akira be telling me, don't put on all that highlight powder. 
But girl, I got to. Let me just put it on, let it set under my eyes just a little bit. Is that okay with you, Akira? Yes. Okay, Akira said it's okay. I'm just let it sit for a second while I put on my lashes. And then I'll dust it out. You see how I got a heavy on the nostrils, on my nostrils? Y'all need to do that to y'all makeup too. Y'all be trying to contour y'all nose so thin, but then leave them big ass nostrils looking out like they crazy. And then put you some contour powder on there so you can have your nose looking visible, bitch. Some of y'all friends should be telling y'all y'all look good for nothing. <laughs> I always keep a snack with me, y'all. I was hungry. I was hoping for fried chicken, but this will do. <laughs> Sponsored by water, cause you know you thirsty. And it was at this moment where I lost my weed. This good human hair, my hair in braids, y'all. <laughs> cause I've been wearing weeds lately as a boy. I don't know why, but it's been my, 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 my gig. And these makeup lashes, uh, a childproof apparently, cause I can't get it open. Oh, there you go. I use bonding glue, AKA weave glue. Bitch, I was hungry. The way I put on my lashes, you see it's like that? I put my finger across like this, cause guess what, I am blind. And I just set them on. That's how I do my lashes. And then I go in and just press them in, make sure they on. Easy. And now I'm gonna use mascara. And I'm gonna just dust off. Oh, I had that very, really light bake. Now I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna put some of my highlighter on my cheek. So I spray with my gold spray. Then I get my fan brush. I first go with the gold, and then I go over with the pink. So I guess essentially I'm making rose gold. <laughs> You see those cheeks? That's what you call a cheek. People pay good money for those. Let me put on my mold before I forget it. I have a mold like right here that I can see as, as a boy and it still always show through my makeup. So I always just put it there. I line my lips with a, a matte lipstick first. Then I go under my lip. I overdraw the tip of my lip. Bottom lip done, and I always do this just to get me an impression of what my top lip should be. So that starts my top lip. Now I put the extra gloss that I want. See that purple lip? And it's pretty. Well, the mug is beat. Well, as much as it's gonna get done today. <laughs> and I'm gonna go put on the final look and I'll beat y'all back. And this is it. You get into it. <laughs> Honey, let me tell y'all something. This is the look. Girl got to have her cute little glasses, right? I'll just sit them right here for y'all get into it while y'all get into this mug. This is the Neon Peacock, baby. The Neon Peacock. If you don't like it, that's on you, cause I love it. And if you wanna find me, Silky Nut Ganache, on any of your social media, make sure you go out and check me out. I can be found on Instagram, Silky Ganache. Twitter, D Silky Ganache. TikTok, D Silky Ganache. You get the picture, baby. Just go find me, it's me. Ain't no other fat bitches like me out there. I got a unique name. I love you guys. Hope you love this look. But for real, catch the glow on that skin. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including 
brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.